became as valuable as gold. Destruction of the River Empire was threatened, for nothing stood between the thieves and their gold but a few courageous planters and their loyal overseers. Hush up your singing, Marie. Pourquoi, Monsieur Louis? You don't like my singing? Sounds fine, but there are other things I must listen for. You wait here, Jabot. I'll look around. What the devil are you doing here? I told you there was to be no kill. You sounded the alarm. Anyway, I was only doing it for you. For me. For 1,100 bags of sugar. Sugar was only part of it. Now get back to your horse and clear out. I've got work to do. Stay quiet, all of you, or you'll get hurt. Anton, call a flatmate. Anton, careful how you stack that sugar. I don't want to lose any in the river. I load him good, Hugo. Don't worry. Billy, I don't want you here. There's liable to be trouble. Look, this raid's for me, and I'm staying. I'm staying to see that not one bag of sugar remains to the aristocratic Monsieur Tulane. Really hate Tulane's innards, don't you? Yes, I do. I'll teach him to tell people where they can live. Good evening, Monsieur Lafarge. Hello, Benedict. Tulane family home? You're in the drawing room, Monsieur. Good. With raw sugar, a ten and a quarter, a hundred pound bag. I shall be able to pay Gabriel 8,000 on the loan and have enough left over till the next crop. Bonjour, René. André. Ça va? Come on in. Thank you. Madame? So nice of you to drop over, René. Oh, please, Monsieur Tillet, don't get up. No. Brandy, René. Thank you. Sit down, René. We've missed you. How's the malaria, Monsieur Tillet? Oh, it comes and goes. But I think I'm improving. You get your crop in yet? My sugar cane's almost all cut. I'll start milling next week. Rumor has it you have a good crop. Ah. 1,114 bags. That much? <laughs> Congratulations. Evidently, you've gotten rid of the red rot. Andre did a thorough job of burning over all the fields last season. They almost burned the house down doing it. Might have been worth it to get rid of the red rot. Sounds like you have some on your place. 
So I found a little in the northeast section. But the real red rot I found in my house. Jacques Scarlet, the Delta man from Bastille Bayou. That old pirate's still trying to buy you out. He was back again two days ago. I must say, he made me a very handsome offer. And don't worry, Monsieur Delane. I turned him down. I kept my promise to you. Good. Good. It is the only thing to do, Rene. If we let any of those Delta cutthroats gain a foothold in this community, we will be either killed or driven out. Well, that's the last of it. Give anything to see Monsieur Tulane's face when he discovers his loss. It would cost me some men. It could be arranged, depending on how much you're willing to give. Apparently not enough. For the Tulane prosperity. Raid. Push, push. Beat, beat. Get to the horses, hurry. Will you stay close? Well, now that you've caught a Delta woman, what are you going to do with her? If I turn you over to the sheriff, ten years in parish prison. On the other hand, if you agree to show us the way to your secret hideout at Bastille Bayou, you can go free. Would you betray your friends? My friends are not thieves and cutthroats. They say parish prison is a vermin-filled pest hole. Ten years is a very long time. How long do you think I'd live if I betrayed my friends? Pay your boat fare to St. Louis. I might get to like it in St. Louis. Then it's a bargain? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah! Oh. Monsieur, my ankle. I think it's broke. But let me remove your boot before it starts to swell. Thank you. you ready? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> ride for nothing, gentlemen. I'm sorry. Better luck next time. Sure you won't join me for breakfast? Thanks, Andre. It's about time our boys were out in the field. We're all harvesting now. Oh, by the way, tell your father not to worry about George Gabriel. No, I'm sure he won't. Gabriel's sure to grant him an extension on the loan. Gabriel had better if he wants our sugar for his refinery. I'll tell him that. Thanks.
Well, we trailed the raiders past Vaca Bayou. Then their trail vanished in the swamps and forests. Sheriff, there must be some way we can get into Bastille Bayou and exterminate these raiders. But how, monsieur? All we know is that the Bastille Bayou is somewhere in the lower delta. But there are hundreds of bayous. And you can be sure that even if you found the right bayou, it would be well guarded. And on the land side, their hideout is protected by a jungle of swamps and forests through which only the raiders know the way. Then we'll have to set a trap that'll make them come to us. A well-baited trap, I trust. If they walk into the trap, I have a strong feeling that the most important fish we'll catch will be... Monsieur Jacques Scarlett. Well, speak of the devil. Bonjour, monsieur. <laughs> I know René Lafarge. Hello, René. But which of you is Jules Tulane? I am Monsieur Jules Tulane. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> Tonnerre. If I had my way, I'd keel all the swab who made these blasted collars. <laughs> 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 A votre santé. Good. You wish to see me, monsieur? Um, yes, monsieur. Uh, for two reasons. First, uh, I believe it was you who blocked my purchase of the Lafarge plantation. It was. For what reason? At the moment, you happen to be a guest in my home, so I shall simply say that you would not fit into our community. <laughs> Because I was a pirate, eh? <laughs> because I come from Bastille Bayou? The words are your own, monsieur, but they cover the situation completely. Perhaps Monsieur Scarlet has come to trade. Trade? Our sugar crop, which your Delta men stole last night. Which, of course, you will return if my father withdraws his objection to your buying into our community. Delta men? Oh, no, no, monsieur. I have nothing to do with them anymore. <laughs> When President Madison granted full pardon to Lafitte's pirates for their services in the Battle of New Orleans, I left Bastille Bayou and became a lawful citizen. <laughs> I own part interest in the gambling ship Lily Scarlet. You have uh, patronized it? During the last two years, the Red Rod and raids by the Delta Men have left the planters with no money for gambling. Oh, I think it would have been less a gamble at my tables. I believe you said there was a second reason for your visit. Anxious to pipe me over the side, eh? <laughs> Maybe I will be brief. Monsieur, I offer you the sum of 50,000 for your plantation. Now, that, that's 30,000 you owe on your future crops, the $15,000 mortgage on your plantation, and 5,000 for yourself. How the devil did you manage to pry into my affairs? Well, I'm a businessman, monsieur. I always investigate what I'm going to buy. Benedict, show Monsieur Scarlet to his carriage. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I am enchanted with your beautiful home, monsieur. Mm. And the quality of your bread. I hope to spend many years enjoying them both. Father home? He's upstairs. I'll go get him. No, wait. I have a summons for your father to appear at 10 tomorrow morning at the courthouse. I would much rather you gave it to him. A summons for what? Non-payment of debts. It seems the sugar crop the Delta men stole was security for payment on a note. Now the entire amount of the note has become due and payable. $30,000. That's ridiculous. George Gabriel holds my father's note. He's an old friend. He wouldn't issue a summons. George Gabriel sold the note. It is the new owner who instigated this action. Sold it to whom? To a woman named Lily Scarlet. Lily Scarlet? Jacques Scarlet's daughter. There may be some difficulty in getting her to grant us an extension. I sincerely hope not, Andre. For under the debtor's law, failure to pay would mean a prison sentence. Good afternoon. <laughs> Where 
first case. Lily Scarlet versus Jules Tulane. Dress and that, and that parasol, a distinct improvement over last night's attire. Don't know what you're talking about. Monsieur le magistrat, this woman was with the Delta men when they raided our plantation the other night. I captured her, but she escaped by hitting me over the head with a rock. This is a very serious charge, Monsieur Tulane. You have witnesses and proof to substantiate this? I was the only witness, but I think I can supply definite proof. When I pulled her off her horse, this woman injured her right ankle. I'm so Scarlet. Perhaps Monsieur would like to examine the evidence. Your permission? Permission granted. Amazing to what lengths a Creole gentleman will go to avoid payment of debt. Monsieur was mistaken, no? You will apologize to Mademoiselle Scarlet at once. I apologize for underestimating you. Monsieur le Magistrat, due to lack of evidence, I am forced to withdraw my charge. Uh, Monsieur Jules Soleil. Uh, your sugar crop was collateral for a payment due on your note, which is now held by Mademoiselle Scarlet. Um, I understand this crop was recently stolen. By the Delta men. Well, technically, this makes the entire note due and payable to the amount of $30,000. Technically, yes. But, of course, I do not have such an amount of money. Besides, it is customary in such cases to grant an extension on the payment due until the next crop is harvested. With, of course, additional interest charges. Well, now, this is a usual and not unreasonable request, mademoiselle. I regret that my own financial position forces me to insist that the $30,000 be paid immediately. Perhaps you could uh, mortgage your plantation for this amount. <laughs> my plantation is already mortgaged to the hilt. Then, Monsieur Tulane, under the debtor's law, I must sentence you to a term of five years in parish prison. I protest. Jacques Scarlet and his daughter stole our crop and deliberately forced this situation, merely because my father prevented them from buying the Lafarge plantation. This court must confine itself only to the unpaid debt. My father suffered from malaria for many years. He wouldn't last a month in parish prison. Baby. He is old and sick. Give him an extension. Shh. I know what I'm doing. Monsieur le Magistrat, it would tear my heart to send this proud old gentleman to such suffering. Therefore, I am willing that he be given a suspended sentence, providing that his son André enters into bonded servitude to me for a period of three years. No. No. It is unthinkable. Outrageous. Monsieur le Magistrat, the genteel reputation of the citizens of Bastille Bayou being what it is, there is a possibility that during my servitude I might lose my life. In such an event, would both my father's debt and his suspended sentence be canceled? I will agree to that. It shall be so recorded. Then I do hereby agree to enter into bonded servitude to Lily Scarlet for a period of three years. It shall be so recorded. When does my slavery begin, Lily? You will address this lady as Mademoiselle Scarlet. Well, Lily? Your servitude has already begun, André. The room has been reserved for you at the end of the Golden Rooster. You report to me aboard the Lily Scarlet at 10 tomorrow morning. Monsieur le Magistrat has already witnessed that my servitude has begun? That is correct, Monsieur. I dislike your remarks. Your boorish manners and your face. At your service. The dueling oaks at daybreak. The weapons? Rapiers. Oh, 
fool. Hugo Mara has fought nine duels. He left nine bodies on the field of honor. Well, then, Lily, you'd best hurry to the cathedral and pray. For you're in danger of losing both the exquisite pleasure of my servitude and your $30,000. Like the storm signals are flying. Really, me, mon ami, this is not a good night to talk to Lily. On the contrary. What do you want? Very beautiful when you're angry. I know why you forced that handsome aristocrat into your bondage. Do you indeed? To get him so crazy mad, he'll even offer marriage to get you. That'd be a shortcut to becoming a lady, wouldn't it? Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. Well, don't waste your time. Going to kill him like you did all the rest of them? Of course. You love to walk into a tavern and see people afraid of you. Hear them whisper, there's the great Hugo Mara, the deadliest duelist in Louisiana. But you're not great. You're just a crude, arrogant lout with a hellish knack for killing. Lily, if I were only to wound your fine aristocrat, then you wouldn't lose your $30,000 investment. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I'd have to receive some similar compensation. Otherwise, you'd kill me. You know, Hugo, we're partners in a gambling boat. Nothing else. Who are you? Baby, where are you going? Uh, wait a minute. Here. Let me have your sword. Only I will show you. Gee. Did you 
is over 30 years since you handled NAP. <laughs> At which time I would remind you, my share, that I was considered something of an expert. Now. Uh, monsieur. Oh, no, oh, no, no. <laughs> It is said that Hugo Marat's favorite thrust is the coup d'arrêt. When René lunged at you, you either parried and retreated, or you parried and reposted. Marat does not do that. Marat delivers the death thrust. So, I shall show you. En garde. Now, when you lunge, you try to hit me here. Huh? Bop! Ah, I see. There. That, my son, is the coup d'arrêt. For which I shall be well prepared. That will not be necessary. Andre, I am sending you on an errand to Baton Rouge. My carriage is outside. You will leave immediately. That's impossible. I'm meeting Hugo Murat at dawn tomorrow. I have a large investment in you, Andre. I do not intend to lose it. Young woman. My son has issued the challenge. Regardless of the consequences, he must go through with this duel. The honor of the Tulane family is involved. Honor? That's what's wrong with all of you. Take a good look at yourselves. You haven't any money, yet you pose and strut and cling. That's enough. Shut up. I'm only just beginning. Are you Andre's mother? Yes, my dear. Well, Hugo Mara is a master swordsman. Andre wouldn't stand a chance against him. What do you want? Do you want your son alive and well? Or would you prefer to have him dead on your field of honor? My dear, there are some things more precious than life. With we Tulane's, there are tradition and the court d'honneur. Monsieur le Comte Henri de Tulane, André's grandfather, he was a famous soldier and a noted duelist. Now, how did he die? On the field of honor, defending the good name of my saintly mother. Oh. Got himself killed and made your mother a widow. May make sense to you, but it certainly doesn't to me. This morning, you told me to report aboard the Lily Scarlet at 10 tomorrow morning. So until then, good night. By 10 tomorrow morning, your body will be rattling through the streets of Calais in a hearse. Now, for the last time, will you get into my carriage and go to Baton Rouge? Do I have to throw you out? So you disobey my order. Very well, then I shall so advise the court. And your father will be sent to parish prison. Bonjour, Monsieur Marat. Bonjour. Bonjour, Monsieur André. Bonjour. Ridiculous. Monsieur Marat has already engaged my services. My daughter said that she is going to referee. Your pleasure, mademoiselle. Anton? Your choice, monsieur. You both know the rules. At the first blood drawn, the duel is over. Then a contestant refuses to stop fighting, he will be shot. Take your positions. Ready? En garde.
Andre's defense is superb, but sooner or later, Hugo's rapier will reach his heart. If it does, I'll kill him. got me twice. Well, you think your slave will live? Take Andre to my carriage. Take care of Monsieur Marat. Bend your head forward, please, Monsieur. Tell you I'm all right. Will you please stand still and be bandaged? I don't want a bandage. You're gonna have a bandage. I won't have a bandage. You will have a bandage, and that's the order. Please, please, my children, my children. <laughs> Andre, you better be bandaged. <laughs> Lily is very much like her mother. Ah, it seems like yesterday. I boarded a Spaniard off Panama, and in the cabin, I found her. <laughs> Scarlet lips, <coughs> red hair. And a temper. Oh, it was unbelievable. <clears throat> Let me show you. Teeth? Look, he's not interested in my mother's teeth or your battle scars. Now, please. Oh, Thank on you. the contrary. You were fortunate, Andre. Next time, my blade will find its mark. No, Hugo, please be your oh, mon ami. There has been enough trouble for one day. Come with me. I have something to show you. Yeah. Does Hugo live around here? At the end of the hall. That's fine. I slave for you all day and fight Hugo at night, huh? I have not told the court that you disobeyed my order to go to Baton Rouge. Do not do it again. For the rest of your servitude, you'll challenge no one to a duel, you understand? You have the rest of the day out here. Bandage yourself. Report for me in the morning. In the meantime, your parents may be worried about you. Lily. Yes? You're quite a woman. Simply enchants me. Obviously. Good evening. Good evening. Monsieur. One. Standing. Monsieur. One, Yvette. A little one. Pay 21. Luck is with you tonight, Monsieur Gabriel. C'est vrai, lady. And her name is Yvette. Merci, Monsieur. Really? I'll take over, Elise. All right, Lily. Okay. Monsieur? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
Lady dealers. Clever idea. Yours, Hugo's. Happens to be mine. I thought so. Lady dealers can cheat the patrons blind and not get shot for it. I have a standing offer of $1,000 reward to any patron who catches one of my girls cheating. Well, if we just had some more money. Let's see. In a rash moment, you put a figure of $30,000 on me. How much would you offer for Monsieur Lafarge? <laughs> oh, two. Oh, one centavo. <laughs> I'm hardly worth it. Have you seen Monsieur Gabriel? Yes. Oh, he was over there a moment ago. Your slave. At 10 tomorrow. Mm. Bonsoir, Monsieur Gabriel. Andre. René. Monsieur. Two brandies. Andre, I was shocked to hear of the court verdict. Yes, my father was astounded when he learned that you sold his note to Lily Scarlet. But, my dear boy, I did no such thing. She must have bought it from the bank. Last year, so many planters came to me for money, I was forced to discount their paper. I'll tell that to him. Please do so at once. Your father is an old and valued friend. I'll see him this afternoon. Good, good. I vote to Sunday. Vote to Sunday. My boy, there must be some way I can help you out of this present unhappy predicament. Oh, I think there is. You see, Lily Scarlet was with the Delta men when they raided our plantation. A strong feeling that she and her father are their leaders. That, of course, is not impossible, but how can you prove it? By baiting a trap with my new sugar crop. You see, Rene's going to let it be known that as a safety precaution, he's storing his sugar at my father's plantation. The Delta man having just raided your place would have no reason to return. Yes. But don't you think it should be kept a secret? Well, you see, I'm not moving my crop, monsieur. When the Delta men raid the Tulane plantation, the planters will be there in force. And catch the Scarlets red-handed. Excellent. Excellent. Please call on me for any help I can give. And now, if you will excuse me, I will see if my luck still holds. Monsieur. Monsieur. Andre, what makes you so sure that the Delta men will fall into our trap? I'm not. You see, I don't trust Gabriel. Oh. I think the stolen sugar passes through his refinery. But, Andre, if Gabriel is one of them, he's sure to warn them about our trap. He won't prove a thing. Not unless they make off with your sugar. Oh, no, no, Andre. I, I don't mind using my sugar as bait, but, well, I can't very well afford to lose it. Look, Rene. The river current should be strong enough to force a flatboat right up to the bank of Baca Bayou. Close enough for us to board it. And get back my sugar. I think this calls for another drink. <laughs> Just one. I want that trap set right away. Of course, of course. Two more brandies, please. Night. Ah, how's the wound? Sore, but satisfactory. Uh -huh. Oh, you're lucky. You know, that Hugo is a devil with a rapier. Let me give you a bit of advice, mon ami. Uh, Lily is a splendid girl, but a little sensitive, like her mother. You would do well to use extreme patience with her. He hasn't much choice. Have you, Andre? Slave reporting. Well, what are your orders? Polish the brass, scrub the decks, shine your shoes, or peel the vegetables? No, I think we'll go for a drive. Au revoir, Papa. Au revoir. Marketplace, Henri. You will sit there. I'll uh, try to remember that I'm a slave. 
I'll help you. Hello. He can do it. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Scarlett. You have nice fresh corn today, alligator pears, and mustard greens. Yes, well, I'll have uh, two dozen ears of corn. No, four dozen. And uh, a dozen alligator pears, and six bunches of mustard greens. My servant. Six yeah. strings of onions and uh, a basket of apples. Oh, yes. Um, Thank you. Andre. Bon Andre, mon These baskets, like a slave. It is a funny joke, no? No. Oh, Mademoiselle Barbette, Lily Scarlet. Lily's my new mistress. Oh, for shame, Andre. Even I am shocked. Mistress in the sense that I'm in bonded servitude to her for non payment of a debt. Bonded servitude? Oh, my poor Andre. How could she do such a terrible thing to you? Well, au revoir. What a melody. I'll take them. Au revoir. is full, a servant has to ride flunky. In the back. For me? Yes, I want to talk to you. I must warn you, Andre, that Hugo will try and goad you into fighting another duel. You're worried there's still a chance of losing me and your 30,000? If you fight another duel, you will be disobeying my orders again. And whether you survive or not, your father will spend the next five years in parish prison. Come here. Part of my back. Hook me up. Oh, 
I tell you I saw you. You pulled the card from the bottom of the deck. I'm sure you're mistaken, madame. Art dealers don't cheat. Keep out of this. I know what I saw. She's a thief. A cheat! Why, you are crying! You don't have to wait, please! You're cheating too, you're all but a cheat! What is it good for you, monsieur? Don't you push him! What do you think you are, yeah, anyway? Miss... Mademoiselle, come quickly, there is trouble. Yes? Isn't Hugo down there? I am not so sure. He is not the cause. One of the girls he hired was caught cheating with the cards. Which one? Henrietta. And now the police are coming. Disgraceful. So wonderfully disgraceful. <laughs> Chateau de Ville, 1811. Good vintage, too. <laughs> Hey, Lily! Hey, Lily! Chief? I knew what kind of girls they were, all right. But I didn't know they could also cheat at cards. And why wasn't he arrested when we were? The last time I saw Hugo, he was under a table. Unconscious and well hidden. Even when he's unconscious, his luck holds out. Well, that's it. I'm through. I'm through with Hugo. You want to buy him out? <laughs> you didn't have enough money to purchase the boat originally without him, and now you haven't got enough money to buy him out. As for the banks, they're all owned by the Creole aristocrats, and you couldn't get a centavo from them. Right, mon ami? They're just as intolerant of you as you are of them. How could we be otherwise? When Papa made your father an offer for his plantation, he was shown the door. And with good reason. You stole our sugar crop. I didn't steal one bag of your sugar. No? Well, what were you doing there, then? Picking magnolia blossoms? I was just seeing the raiders took everything. That's all. Oh, please, mes enfants. Please. Do you want to wake up the whole prison? Go to sleep. So you gain nothing from the raid but the ruination of my father. And before I'm through with him, he'll learn he's got no God-given right to tell people where they can or cannot live. Nobody's going to cheat the Scarlets. Nobody but Hugo. He kicks you around, and yet you do nothing. Leave me alone. I'm tired. Look, Hugo's out to ruin the planters, and you and your father as well. Are you going to just sit there, or are you going to do something about it? What do you want me to do? Show your friends the secret way to Bastille by you? Long ago, all the decent people left Bastille by you. Now only Hugo and his killers remain. Unless they're wiped out, there'll be no peace along the river. I told you I was tired. Now, why don't you leave me alone? I'll tell you why. It's because you're a woman. The loveliest and most courageous I've ever known. And you know a tavern where the innkeeper is very discreet. But I'm Lily Scarlet, so you can't take me home to meet your mother or your father. We so-called aristocrats have a quaint old custom. We never go home without our brides. You don't have to wait for orders. so long. Bailing us out or joining us? 
We'd hoped you'd come for us last night. Did you? Yes, this place is worse than the Spanish dungeon at Puerto Bello. Uh. Jacques Scarlett? Yes. Lily Scarlett? Uh, my daughter. You're both bailed out. Oh. What about Andre Tulane? Poor Andre. You know, I forgot all about him. I'll have you out in an hour, Andre. Oh, so in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Gabriel. My dear boy, this is outrageous. I came the moment I heard. My lawyer's arranging your bail now. Why did you not send me word? Well, for two reasons. First, I had no messenger, and second, I was waiting for Lily to come and bail me out. It would have been a long wait, I'm afraid. Andre, after our talk yesterday, I set my men to watch the Scarlets. This morning, they rode off. My men followed for some time, and then reported back they rode south toward the river. I'm afraid the Delta men will raid tonight. Was Hugo Marat with them? No, they were alone. Do you also suspect Marat? I suspect everyone. Even me, I think. I do not blame you. My refinery could easily market the stolen sugar. I must admit the thought had occurred to me. Tonight, if the raiders walk into your trap, there will be no further need for suspicions. In case we run into trouble on the river trail, they are loaded. Good. I hope to have use for them before the night's over. With luck, we will arrive in time to help the planter spring your trap. That's Andre Dulane. He smells a rat, huh? He has no reason to distrust Gabriel yet. You are sure his guns carry powder, but no bullets? Very sure. The night will hold many surprises for Monsieur Tulane. Gaspar and Blois. They'll get him. In this forest? In the dark? Gabriel, you and I have finished. Andre will have you arrested within 24 hours. But the planters, Hugo, they, they'll lynch me. You promised to protect me. I won't let them lynch you, Gabriel. No. No, 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 no. I, I have been your friend. I made a fortune for you before. I'll, I'll make a fortune for you again. Please?
march all down to the bayou. How do you expect to trap the raiders here? Well, the raid's over. That swine Gabriel must have told them. They raided my place. Well, let's head for Baca Bayou. That's exactly where we were heading. All right, let's go. They should have been here by now. They'll be here. If they're coming. If they're coming. Do you think Gabrielle suspects that we plan to intercept the flatboats? Gabrielle? Scarlet's? They are coming. Get ready. Stole the sugar. Where is it? Sugar, monsieur? The 800 bags you stole from my plantation this evening. She is mistaken. We're honest rivermen. Honest? Armed with pistols? For protection. Against the mosquitoes, monsieur. They're guilty, Sheriff. Let's flog a confession out of them. There will be none of that. I know they're guilty, but we have no evidence. We'll have to let them go. Au revoir, monsieur. Au revoir. Tomorrow morning, I shall see the Prefect de Police of New Orleans and swear out a warrant for Georges Gabriel. That's all very well. In the meantime, where's my crop? On shore somewhere. We better all spread out and search every bayou between here and Rene's place. Tell my father I'm going to New Orleans. What for? To see a certain thieving Delta woman about 800 bags of sugar. Hurry it up, man. Hurry it up. Anton will cast off as soon as the woods are bored. Allez. Allez, Fripp. with Hugo? No, look what it's done for us. He's sailing the Lily Scarlet at dawn tomorrow morning, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. But maybe I... Andre. Andre, you shouldn't be here. Hugo's orders his men to shoot you. That's why you waited to bail me out? So instead, you sent Gabrielle to lead me into an ambush. Well, it failed. You'll be in jail tomorrow morning. Gabrielle's dead. Hugo shot him. When we left you, we came here to get the money to bail you out. But we fell into a trap. Hugo and his men had taken over the boat. Well, why didn't you go to the police? We tried to. Hugo locked us in here and put guards outside the door. Look, I knocked the guard out of the dock. I think we can get out of here. Let's try. I'm afraid to risk another duel? That's a lie. No, it's the truth. You're afraid to risk another duel with the only man you couldn't beat. That's what people would say. I'm casting off now. So I must be the one to name the time and the place. Bastille Bayou, daybreak. The choice of weapons is yours. Machetes. Machetes, huh? Oh, yes. You're an expert with machetes cutting sugar cane. Take him out. Machete is like the cutlass. My favorite weapon for the quick kill.
Easy, starboard. Easy, starboard. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Where are you going? Can't swim all the way down by clothes, and I'll need them when I get to the Tulane plantation. Oh, no, baby. I, I forbid it. No. Those paddle wheels, they cut you to pieces. Look, even if Hugo doesn't kill Andre, the raiders will. I've got to get the planters to Bastille by you before daybreak. You love him that much, eh? Open up. Keep away from my daughter, you black livered swab. Open the door, I'll break it down. You better not try it. Pouring coal oil on the deck, so help me, I'll fire the ship. I can wait. Just see that Lily's temper doesn't fire the coal oil. We have to reach Bastille by you before daybreak. Where the devil did you come from? Out the Lily Scarlet. Andre's a prisoner there. He fights Hugo again tomorrow morning at dawn, and even if he wins, the Delta men will kill him. I believe her, Jules. Celeste, please. You mean you want to lead the planters into an ambush? Here's your note for $30,000. It's soaking wet, but it has my signature on it, and it still reads paid in full. There are 800 bags of your sugar aboard the Lily Scarlet. Renee. Round up the plateaus to the east. I'll take the west. Come, my dear. I'll find you some dry clothing. I don't need any dry clothing. I'm a Delta woman. I don't need pampering. And perhaps a hot coffee. My dear, it is high time we Tulane's realized that it is not where you come from that counts, but what you are. I only hope Andre will have the good fortune to bring you into the family. I'll speak to him about it, madame. She's coming in. Get your gear ready and I'll find out where we leave. Come on, come on, you go. When do we sail? In the morning, mon ami. In the morning? After we take care of some very important business. Thank you. Any 
on me. Ready. And you, my fine aristocrat. Ready. On your arms, you delta rats. Throw them down. But you've got a Delta woman. What are you going to do with her? I turn you over to the sheriff. Ten years in parish prison. But if you'll agree to spend the rest of your life in bonded servitude to me, and obey all orders... I might learn to like taking orders. What would you have me do? Wash the decks? Polish the brass? Peel the vegetables? Clean your boots? I'm taking you home with me. That's an order. Anything you say, Andre. Anything at all. Unbelievable. Wonderfully unbelievable. Not a bit like a mother. Oh, Papa. Wow, Lily. Thank you. 